Now, if you overlook Boat Key today, there are four other founding fathers that decided, they decided, hey, let's celebrate them because we are what woke and what diversity. Yeah? So they decided to put four more founding fathers. We have Tan Tok Seng, we have Narayana Pillai, Munshi Abdullah, and we also have Sang Nila Utama. And in quintessential roast culture, our roast all our founding daddies, yeah? <laughs> so let's start off first with Mr. Narayana Pillai. Now, who doesn't know Mr. Narayana Pillai? Same. And I am going to quote at verbatim what Wikipedia says about him. He started his career as the chief clerk at the government treasury, where he verified the authenticity of currency. Must resist money changer jokes. <laughs> Pillay noticed a boom in building works. He wrote to his contact in Penang to send bricklayers, carpenters and cloth merchants to Singapore. Through these efforts, he also became Singapore's first building contractor. So for that, Daddy Pillay, we thank you. We thank you because you Pillay the foundation of Singapore. <laughs> Up next, Debbie Tan Tok Singh. Now, I'll be honest, the first thing I think about with Debbie Tan Tok Singh is how delicious the chicken rice is. No, seriously, have you guys been to the Tan Tok Singh canteen? The chicken rice is damn nice. It's damn delicious and very cheap. $4.50. You guys must try. You all know this? Does anyone know this? Tan Tok Singh chicken rice? Go, ma'am. White people, go to the hospital. It's also an attraction. It's like inflation never hit the Philippines. You guys didn't get that reference? No, really, there are more Filipinos in the medical field than there are working in the Universal Studios of Singapore. <laughs> well, I hate Filipinos. Call me out. I hate how they make us look so lazy. Why are Filipinos so hardworking? And somebody explain, any Filipinos in the house? Are you really Filipino? Or are you just passing off? Are you one of those Malay people who pass off as Filipinos? <laughs> right, it's true, like, they are always so joyful at work. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey. See me so happy for what? For what? Huh? Every day so happy, you know. But you know what, Filipinos? I truly admire your working spirit and how hardworking and how joyful you are with your customer service. President Duterte must feel so proud that he has released into the world's economy the most hardworking bees. They are not only hardworking bees, but jolly bees. <laughs> But I digress. Back to founding daddy Tan Tok Singh. Again, I didn't know much about this guy, so I, as any other millennial, went to Wikipedia. On Wiki, his bio reads, Born in Malacca in 1798 to an immigrant Hokkien father and Peranakan mother. Not a real race, yeah? <laughs> Malay people, can you chill louder for that? Sorry, I haven't hang, I apologize. <laughs> it's true. Would you like to fight me though? I'm so sorry. It's true. Malay people have this thing uh, about Pranakan, like, are they real or not? Is it as a state of mind? <laughs> and to Pranakans out there who's not Dick Lee because I have a lot of respect on him. Hey, Dick Lee, I have a because I have a lot of respect. <laughs> sorry, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! There goes any theater opportunities in life! <laughs> All I have... No, that's the reason. I mixed up my joke. I mixed up my joke. I'm so sorry. All I have to say to the Pranagans out there who disagree, sit on a big leaf. <laughs> that's where I was going. <laughs> say, I, I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I gave a different context. Don't be a piece of shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> now, let's continue reading his bio, Tan Tok Sen, yeah? In 1844, he contributed $5,000 to the construction of the Tan Tok Singh Hospital on top of Pearl's Hill. Well, 
your loss, Mr. Tan Tok Sing. Because in this generation, for $5,000, you can get a yacht party. <laughs> now, but this is the ironic part that I discovered about his bio. Mr. Tan died in 1850 at the age of 52 after catching an unknown disease. He built a hospital for fun. <laughs> They don't know, you know, he died not knowing what he died of. He might as well go for the yacht party, right? <laughs> Who did he hire? Mina as nurses? A uh, time of death sometime between 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. I don't know. I was on a smoke break. <laughs> Three hours of smoke break. <laughs> Now, the next third daddy, third founding daddy, is Munshi Abdullah. Now, I know what you all are wondering. Munshi, who's she? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, I was very embarrassed initially because I thought like, wow, as a Malay national treasure from Singapore. <laughs> hey, who poof, auntie, is it you? Put your arm down, you are not Stanford Bethel. <laughs> as I was saying, as a Malay national treasure of Singapore, I thought it was important that I knew the other Malay national treasures before me. And turns out it was okay, because upon further research, I found out that he was actually Arab. Which makes sense now, because much like his Arab lineage, my best friend Munal Bagrib, he too disappeared into obscurity. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Knock, knock! Yeah. Muna! Yeah. We're all wondering. <laughs> I love you, baby. I told you to sit in front for all this life. Thank you, thank you. Now, Munchi is so obscure, the only write-up I could find on him is on Mothership. They quoted Munchi saying, I have had to bear a great deal of opposition from the locals regarding things I have learned from intelligent men. I don't know why, but smart Malay people, I think, sound like that. I have especially been answered that such a fact could not be believed, for these things were never heard of before, nor have our ancestors informed us of it. I showed them numbers of signs and proof that the world was round, yet they would not believe me. Once upon a time, Malay people didn't believe that the world was round. <laughs> and they were going to fight you for it. Can you imagine Malay people back then? What do you mean? What do you mean, no one is round? Is it I like walking a hamster ball? I don't understand. What do you mean, we, the world is round? You explain. Which is why, when we say, relax one corner, it means go to the ends of the world and travel. I don't want to see relax one corner joke in the theatre shows anymore. <laughs> now you know what I mean. Auntie, are you okay? You seem, you seem damn straight. Not you lah. There are many other aunties in the ocean out there. <laughs> you damn stressed. It's okay, huh? When Malay people make the center stage, it's still okay, huh? Your privilege is not in question. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's chill.